So here we are on forvo.com, at least I think that's how you pronounce it. And on this site, you can find all kinds of language resources, not just French either, all kinds of languages as well. But for the purpose of this video, we're going to concentrate on pronunciation because that's their, that's the main aim of the website is to, uh, as you can see here, um, basically to have all words in every languages in the world pronounced like a database of all words as such. And as you can see, uh, they call themselves the pronunciation dictionary. So if you have any questions regarding the pronunciation of a particular word, Forvo is definitely the place to go. They do say sign up here, as you can see, but you don't actually have to sign up. Uh, I think the sign up option is only for people who want to actually participate in recording words in their own language. It's absolutely not necessary to sign up if you're just wanting to use the site to find out how to pronounce a word or phrase because on Forvo so what's great is that you can actually hear phrases pronounced by native speakers. So for example as regards French uh, what you find is that if there is for example a liaison that is necessary in a phrase natives would know that so it would get pronounced whereas if you just used Google Translate there could be mistakes made there because it's recorded by some sort of um, automated voice. So let's have a look at how this works and as I was saying there are other other resources available on Forvo. <laughs> That's the sign of the times isn't it? Uh, if you want to learn how to pronounce you know vocabulary to do with coronavirus in French you would go there. You've got other language articles in here, a section for children. Um, it's really a great website. But as I was saying, let's focus on pronunciation because otherwise this video would last way too long. So you can here put a word in, say in English, for example. And so let's put, um, let's say hello, for example. Let's start really simple. Hello. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, never mind. This I, this section, I have to be honest, this section, because I've, I've used this website a fair bit myself, this section I find a little bit temperamental. It doesn't always work the way you expect it to, but here it is where you would select the language pair when it works properly. The way that I use Forvo is I go to languages, so you would select the language you're learning. So for example, let's, well, let's obviously pick French. And then here you would type the word or phrase you want to hear in French. So for example, let's start easy and let's pick bonjour. So you can see you've got loads of um, suggestions down here, but we'll stick with bonjour to start with. And if you scroll down, you see that bonjour has 50 possible pronunciations. Oh, sorry, that's not what I meant to say. It has been pronounced by 50 different people. So you'll be able to get a good idea of how it is pronounced. And what I particularly like about Forvo, as you can see here, is that you can hear the, the words that you want to learn how to pronounce pronounced by males, by females. Uh, you can also see their location. So for example, here all four are from France. But if we scroll down, there are probably others from other places. Yes, here you hear it from Canada. Um, so probably someone from Quebec. Um, what else? So you've got loads of males, loads of females. Uh, even someone from the United States, so they're probably uh, native speakers because I believe only native speakers are allowed to record their voice because that's the whole point of the website is it has to be pronounced by native speakers. So you've even got someone from Switzerland, uh, Canada, Belgium. So that's great because if you want to learn French because you're going to go to a particular French speaking country, it doesn't necessarily have to be France. Uh, because just like English is pronounced differently, for example, in England and in America, the same goes for French. It is pronounced differently 
depending on whether it's French from Paris or French from Canada or French from, you know, any other uh, French-speaking country. So let's have a look, for example. Let's listen to this. So a mail from France. Bonjour. 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 And let's pick someone from somewhere else, Canada. Bonjour. Bonjour. Mm -hmm. And somewhere else again, let's pick United States. I'm quite interested. Bonjour. Bonjour. Mm -hmm. And Switzerland. Bonjour. Bonjour. As you've probably heard as well, another great thing about listening to pronunciation of Volvo as opposed to maybe Google, Google Translate again, is because it's recorded by real people, you also get to hear different intonations. So here, the lady sounds rather happy. Bonjour. Bonjour. But you get also quite plain pronunciations. Bonjour. This is more neutral. Bonjour. See, so that's great as well, because you it's almost like you can hear the words as if they were in context rather than pronounced by a robot. <laughs> So this is for bonjour. And also here, if you're familiar with the International Phonetic Alphabet, you often uh, get it here. So you can actually see how it would be spelt or written in the International Phonetic Alphabet, which also would help you understand how the word is pronounced. So bonjour. If you've never come across the International Phonetic Alphabet before, I suggest you... Um, you don't necessarily, you don't need it to learn a language, but I suggest you familiarize yourself with it at least because it's a definite help if you have knowledge of it. So let's have a look down there as well. Sometimes you get a map at the bottom to see, oh, here as well, what's good is uh, you get phrases. So you can actually hear the word uh, pronounced as part of a phrase which is rather useful. This is not available for every word and phrases that you may look for but for a very common one, uh, common ones you're likely to find uh, you know the word in context. So let's have a look at this one for example. Bonjour, comment allez-vous depuis tout ce temps? Bonjour tout le monde. Belgium. Bonjour tout le monde. All right, and see here you see the map. So if you want to hear the f uh, a particular word or phrase, um, you know, pronounced in a particular location, like if the accent is very important to you, you can also go on the map and, you know, zoom in and see how it is pronounced in that location. So for example, we want to hear that word, mm, how it's pronounced in Monaco. Bonjour. Bonjour. Belgium, I think this is in Belgium. Bonjour. Yeah, see, so you can pick it on the map as well. But all of these recordings are the ones that you would find up here. So let's have a look at a phrase instead. So we'll go back to languages, French, and what phrase? Shall we have bon voyage? Let's try that. Bon. Voyage. Ding. So, bon voyage, 14 prononciation. So, don't click here because that would only get you to hear the first one. Actually, click on the word, okay? Bon voyage. See, so if you click here, you only hear one example, but if you click on the actual words, you get the full list. So, let's have a look. Bon voyage. Bon voyage. Bon voyage. So again, you know, male, female, France, Belgium. That's a great thing about this site. Again, a lady from Canada. Bon voyage. Bon voyage. So this is great. Bon voyage. Yeah, this is with a, an American accent. Again, you get the map. Oops. You get a translation here. On this particular one, you don't get the IPA. I think it's because it's um, it's a phrase. It's much more common for the imp for the International Phonetic 
Oh, sorry, I can't speak. For the international phonetic alphabet to be included if it is a single word that you're looking for. But at least for as long as I've been using the website myself, and again, let me just take the opportunity to say this is not sponsored. You know, I just used Forvo myself and I just thought anyone learning a foreign language could benefit from knowing about this website. Um, so that's the only reason I'm telling you about it. Uh, yes, yeah, so I was going to say that for as long as I've been using the website myself, I've always found at least one instance of the word or phrase I was looking for. So that's great as well. Um, you can also have a look, say, mm, flirting. <laughs> Let's have a look. So you can hear phrases here to do with flirting. Comment vous appelez-vous? Vous venez ici souvent? Tu es vraiment mignon. But of course, that's more useful if you want to learn phrases rather than specific pronunciation. So let's have a look. Um, what other phrase might you want to know? Attends chien. Let's see. Attends chien is an expression we use when basically it, it kind of means raining cats and dogs. It's like really horrible weather. So let's have a look. Attends chien. Un temps de chien. Un temps de chien. Un temps de chien. I like this one, see, because he actually recorded himself pronouncing, like really enunciating each word and then uh, using the gliding that would be much more natural, which is basically not pronouncing the E here. Uh, again, that's a benefit of, you know, listening to real people rather than robots because they'd know how to... Um, how people actually speak. So that's great. Un temps de chien. Un temps de chien. Yeah, that's, that's really good. So that's about all I wanted to show you as part of um, this little demonstration of this website. And let me know if you think you're going to use it in future. Did you find it useful? Did you already know about it? I'm actually interested to know like how many people know of this website because I don't actually see it advertised anywhere. I don't even know how I got to know of it, to be honest. I've known it, I've known about it for quite some time, but I can't remember how I found it. So I'd be interested to know if you knew of it, and if you did, where did you hear about it? So that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something, and I'll see you next time. Bye!